Hi friends, I hope you're doing absolutely wonderful today. Today I want to talk about one of the hottest items that is currently just raving the internet and that is Eureka's newly announced Mignon single dose. Now, I recently did a video on the Niche Zero and in that video I talk about how there are so many different options for single dosing grinders in 2021. This year, Eureka announced their Eureka Mignon single dose. I thought rather than waiting for the review that we can just dive into some online information that is currently available and then when the grinder actually comes in, We'll do a full on extensor review if it actually is good, if it's actually everything it's been hyped out to be, or if it isn't. Now I just got access to some online brochures and some information that you'll actually receive if you buy this grinder. And so I thought it'd be fun for us to just dive into that and just talk about this grinder, start a conversation. So if anything in this video interests you, be sure to drop a comment down below. And if you're excited about the Eureka Mignon single dose, you're excited for this conversation, drop a like down below too. It would really help. Let's dive into this. So let's start at the one page brochure that you're gonna be getting if you do buy this grinder. Grinder. This is actually available online if you want to check this out and I'll link that down in the video description below. Now, let's start at the name. You know, the Niche Zero wasn't an incredibly unique name, but it was easy to say. The Eureka Mignon single dose is a mouthful. Not a big deal, let's keep moving on here. Number two says check that the bean hopper tab is closed and then insert the coffee into the bean hopper. It basically looks like one of the Mignons currently on an angle. Now what's really interesting is they're saying that you wanna keep that tab closed and I'll show you a picture of this tab later. You wanna get the motor up to speed before you're feeding those beans to the burrs. I think that's very interesting and I'm, I'm loving that for sure. Number three is once you've started the grinder with the side button, open the tab, you're feeding that coffee in there. It's grinding it up. Cool, pretty straightforward. Number five, this is pretty interesting here. Number five says, once the coffee no longer comes out of the outlet chute, keep the tab closed and push the blow up system applied on the bean hopper for the, for the time necessary to clean the grinding chamber. And so you're keeping that tab closed and using the blow up system. Now the blow up system is something that Eureka's designed a few years ago and it's essentially their in-house bellows. It's a bellows that they've engineered for their grinders. I think it's unique for sure. What I find interesting is that you don't see the lid that you see in all their commercials here, which is that wood piece, but you see their bellows. So we don't know what this bellows looks like, but we do know that they have one. So this is the page that you get when you're buying the Eureka Mignon single dose. Let's go over to the full brochure. And this one's a little bit more detailed with some photos and you can see all the designing here of the single dose. The Mignon single dose made in Italy. Okay, now I've seen some comments online talking about the hopper on the single dose. And people are kind of disappointed that there is a hopper. And I was too, to be quite honest, but this looks like it's a pretty small hopper. I think size is a big deal here. It's a 45 gram hopper, which is about the same size as what the Niche Zero can hold, around 45 grams. You can see here, this is the metal tab that it was referring to in that other brochure. And then this is what Eureka is known for, their stepless micro metric system, where they have a little knob on the corner of the grinder. This was really great for espresso when I was using the Mignon Special Lita a few years ago. I owned that grinder for a year and I absolutely love adjusting espresso on this. It was nice, it, it felt nice to use. It was very high quality. My concern with this one, and this will be really interesting, is that this might be very difficult going from filter to espresso. What I don't wanna see is multiple rotations to get from one brew method to another. If you can do this all within one rotation, I'm gonna give huge ups to Eureka for this because as soon as you have to go multiple rotations, you're gonna get confused on where you're at and going from one brew method to another might be a little bit frustrating. Now this has got the 65 millimeter burrs from the XL Mignon. I believe it's the same burst set that hasn't been confirmed, but I'm assuming so because that also has a 65 millimeter burst set. While that might not be the biggest burst set you've ever heard of, especially because it's become more popular with grinders like the Ode and some other home grinders, 65 millimeter burrs even three or four years ago would have been absolutely massive. That's what you would have found in something like the Atom, which was an $1,100, $1,200 grinder for the cafe. And so 65 millimeter burrs is awesome. I'm really excited about that. One thing I love about Eureka's burr set is that they have fantastic flavor profiles and the flat burrs are just really well designed and engineered. Uh, they use a technology called diamond inside and I could be wrong on this, but from what I remember is that they put these burrs through incredible temperature ranges to be able to harden them to another level. I love the design here with the gold and the black. That's their new logo, the Eureka Oro kind of ties in with all of that. And again here, espresso and brew. So that's gonna really depend on how this guy works right here. If this is really hard to figure out, it's just not gonna work for both methods, in my opinion at least. And that's one thing that Niche did so well. You had one rotation, you had all brew methods right on there. That's why people loved it so much. When we're talking about low retention or zero retention, 
I expect to see from this grinder something less than half a gram of coffee. Even half a gram would be probably too much to call it a zero retention. If this does have a bellow system, I expect it to be much less than half a gram, but we'll see. I mean, this is really new. We don't, we haven't had a flat burr grinder at this price point from Eureka, especially that's zero retention. So, you know, this is going to be very similar to the DF64. This is going to be more expensive than the DF64, but it's going to have a very similar burr size and almost designed too. The DF64 is on a slant, it's flat burrs, and it has a bellow system as well. So if you've heard really great things about the DF64 and you like the way that people talk about its flavor profile, or if you have one, this is gonna be probably very similar, if not a little bit better in my opinion, we'll, we'll see. But I think that that's a great grinder example of what this will kind of be. But I think Eureka will have a better build quality. They've known to be incredible, incredible home grinders for a really long time, especially this fantastic fantastic grinder and the XL I haven't tried it but I've only heard amazing things okay, let's keep going here one thing Eureka is really great at is making quiet grinders and for a home that's just huge uh, they have their silent technology about 60 decibels what they claim again I can't test that right now but I can speak in experience from owning Eureka grinders they're true to that word they dampen these things like crazy High-speed grind dispersions thanks to its upgraded engine. I know the Special Leader would grind 20, 18, 20 grams in about eight to nine seconds. So it was pretty quick. We'll see how this one plays out. And then <laughs> the metallic dosing cup, which is 45 gram capacity. Now, I've said this in my last video with the Niche Zero, but there, there's no hiding that this has a lot of inspiration from the Zero. And this dose cup is obvious here. Now this actually looks more like Option O's dosing cup for the Lagone P64. But yeah, you can see their logo on here. Eureka does things well when it comes to build quality and they're big on their branding for sure. I mean, it's Italian styling. Absolutely love it. Really excited to test this guy out. Uh, they have a shaped wooden base with magnetic coupling. Okay, so this is gonna be magnetic. So I don't know if that means magnetic to the actual base of the grinder here, or if that's gonna be magnetic to the dose cup. I'd love to see both for sure. Magnetic, so this is easy to clean. It doesn't slide around into the dose cup so that it stays still. So right here, uh, the perfect inclination of grinding chamber, 15 degrees combined with dedicated technical solutions ensures a retention close to zero. And they're claiming total retention is less than 0.6 minus the exchange. So they're saying they're claiming about 0.3 grams, which like I said, anything less than 0.5 is pretty great. The niche is pretty consistent between that 0 0.2, 0 0.3 grams, but I love this. I think Eureka really understands the market right now. I think they understand what people want. They're giving us the information that we wanna see here. And again, I'm gonna link this down below if you wanna read this in more detail, or if you wanna read it in Italian, that's totally an option for you. Very unique style, it's boxy, but it's that Italian look that we've known and loved from the Mignon. I don't know what other colors this comes in. I believe like we've only seen the white. Is this a black? That's a black one there. So yeah, that looks like it's, that looks like it's chrome and this is white. So those are probably the three colors that we're gonna get because Mignons do come in all different colors. The blow up. Okay, so the use of the Mignon blow up cleaning included allows to prepare your next shot with grinding chamber always clean. They're including the blow up cleaning bellows on the single dose. Love that. If you want your product used a certain way, have complete control on it. The dosing cup made of stainless steel helps you easily transfer ground coffee right to your portafilter. So I'm assuming this will be a 58 millimeter dosing cup. Okay, let's dive into the burrs here. And again, Eureka is so great with their burr designs. This particular combination of motor diamond inside burrs, which are 65 millimeters, guarantees high productivity and a wide range of grinds achievable. Not much to really comment on there. Again, it's really hard to say on any of this until we have this grinder, which we will do for sure. And so if you want to see that video, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss that video when it comes available. And like this video if you're enjoying this so far. Now, okay, so we got some colors right here. We've got chrome and oak, we've got white and oak, and we've got matte Ooh, matte black and oak. Interesting. I think that's hilarious. I literally just said that the Niche Zero should definitely come out with a matte black. Niche, if you're watching this, come on now. Come on. Okay, so accessories here, the hand brew cup. And then they're also coming out with a digital scale with Bluetooth system and dedicated app. Interesting. And I love that Eureka does this, just releases everything before the grinder's even public yet. So great productivity, how fast this grinder grinds. For espresso, they're saying 2.3 to 2.8 grams a second. And then for filters, 2.8 to 3.3 grams a second. So that's pretty quick. So that means if you're grinding about 18 grams of coffee, 
it'll take around five and a half seconds, 5.44 seconds. Okay, well, I do want to know what you think about this grinder because what an interesting grinder that we're talking about. I, I don't do this often, but I did want to start the conversation because there's not a lot of content on the internet about this grinder specifically. And so rather than wait for it, I thought we could at least dive into this and go over this brochure together. So let me know down below if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. I don't want to do this for every grinder, but the Eureka Mino single dose was special and I'm really excited for it if I'm quite honest. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Definitely drop a comment down below on your thoughts on the Eureka Mineo single dose. Is it something that interests you? What would you like to see them change maybe before they launch this grinder? Is it something that doesn't interest you? Let's keep it kind, but definitely drop a comment down below. And again, if you enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit a like button or if you're just, you just like talking about coffee grinders, drop a like button down below too for me. That would be super appreciated. Now again, I will review this grinder when it becomes live, so be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. Hit that little bell so you don't miss a video when it drops, and we will see you guys all next time. Go brew yourself a nice hot one. Peace.